Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Find space, okay? So the first thing you want to do is I've already taken a photocopy of or taken a picture of that vinyl that I showed you. And what you want to do is you want to go, I'm in Cricut Design Space, so I'm going to click on Upload. And normally we use this, we normally use images, but we're not going to use image. We're going to use pattern fill. So we're going to say Upload Pattern and Browse. And you want to locate a sample, the sample that you took a picture of. So mine is on my desktop and this is it here, okay? So you're gonna bring it in by clicking on it and selecting open. And now I have that sample in Cricut Design Space. Now you can save it to whatever name you wanna call it. I'm just gonna say Rainbow Ripples. And I guess I have to learn how to spell Rainbow Ripples. And you can actually select a color folder that you want to put it in. Since this one is kind of funky delic, I'm going to put it in that folder. And just hit upload. Now, it's not going to tell you that it's saved or anything like that. Um, it's just going to go back to your image screen. But trust me, it is there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in the image that I want to try that um, pattern out on. Okay. So this is the image I'm going to use. I'm just going to select Add to Canvas like you would normally upload any image. Now this image comes in super large, so I'm going to have to downsize it a little bit. So right now she's at 29 width and 29 height. So we're going to go ahead and change her up. And I'm just going to say 15 by 15, even though I know that that's not possible in Cricut Design Space but just so you can get a good visual here, okay? So now I have her and she's as a basic cut. The first thing you wanna do is select the drop down arrow next to operation where your basic cut is and you wanna change it to standard print then cut, okay? You cannot use patterns unless you are in the print then cut operation, okay? Patterns do not work on cuts and all that other stuff, okay? So then once you do that, right next to where you would normally select your color, that little area, you're going to click that. So mine is in black. And it's just like if I were going to change the color. But instead of selecting color, you have a little drop down arrow here. And I'm going to select pattern. And you can see I had already downloaded um, or uploaded that pattern to Cricut Design Space. But there's the pattern right there. I'm going to select it. And now you can see she has been changed to the colors that are in the vinyl that I took a picture of. Let's make her bigger so you guys can really see it here. Okay, so that is how you can go in. Now, if I wanted to go in and sublimate her on a shirt, she would be beautiful in sublimation. I think those colors would really pop in sublimation. So I'm going to sublimate this image onto a white t-shirt. And the reason I say white is because it really does pop on the white t-shirt. Now, I have went to template and went to the search field and I typed in t-shirt and the magnifying glass. So that is how I got this template of the t-shirt on my screen. Once you get the template on your screen, you can then select the type of shirt that you're working with, what size of shirt that you're working with, and then what color of shirt that you're working with. So if I wanted to place it on different colors just to see what it will look like, you can get a good visual here 
of what it would look like. Now, to me, it looks better on the lighter colors than it did the darker, co darker colors. The darker colors kind of took over and overpowered the image. But that's one way that you can actually look to see what it's going to look like. So I'm going to be sublimating her on a white polyester t-shirt. And I'm going to do it inside Microsoft PowerPoint because I don't want to be confined to the 6.75 by 9.25 in Cricut Design Space. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to take and I'm going to hit print screen. It's the PRT space SC key on my keyboard. It stands for print screen. It's right next to the delete on my keyboard. So I'm going to hit that. And sometimes it takes a minute here. And then you get this little, you see this little um, crosshair on my screen in a pinkish color moving around. That will allow me to now left click my mouse and drag it to take a picture of that image. Okay. And then once I get that picture of the image, I can then go and paste that on my computer. So I'm going to be pasting this in Microsoft PowerPoint. I don't want to bring it up on my screen right now because Microsoft PowerPoint acts crazy when I'm doing uh, video screen capture and I don't want to lose you on my screen or what you see on my screen. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to paste it. All I have to do is just click and paste it inside PowerPoint and then um, use that image for my sublimation. And if you choose to do this, guys, don't forget to mirror your image inside PowerPoint. Okay, you have to mirror that image. So um, I can't, like I said, pull it up here because my Microsoft PowerPoint acts crazy when I'm doing a tutorial. But I will um, see if I can actually show you guys how I'm going to do it. Or you can also check my YouTube channel and you can see how to do sublimation using PowerPoint um, for the larger images because I have several video tutorials out there to show you how to do it. So. Um, I, will, I wouldn't even worry about removing the background on this because it will show white in the background. I wouldn't even worry about that because when you're sublimating on a white shirt, it's not going to show anyway. So I don't have to take this into remove BG to remove the background. I'm going to just paste it directly into PowerPoint, resize her, flip her so that she's mirrored, and then I'm going to print her out on a white polyester shirt in um, Microsoft PowerPoint. All right. I just wanted to show you guys that. And just so you can um, take a look here, I'm going to upload her one more time. Just to show you that this doesn't work in the cut. Cut. Oh, this is going to be so pretty on my in, in sublimation. Let me hide that t shirt. Look at that difference. She is such much more prettier in these um, colors here. Come on, Cricut, stop acting crazy. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, I'm just going to say... Anyway, it's like Cricut is acting crazy. But look at the difference there. But here she is in a basic cut. So you can see basic cut here on the layers panel. And now if I were to click on this down, um, the color, you see you don't have access to uh, patterns. You only get patterns if you change your image to a print then cut, okay? So again, if I go here, and I changed this from a basic cut to a standard print then cut. Now when I go and click on the black, I have the ability to go from color or to a pattern. And I have several patterns that I've uploaded. Um, I don't know if there's a limit to how many patterns you can upload because I've uploaded so many throughout the years. Um, but, you know, yeah, just click on a pattern. And Cricut does have some standard patterns out there as well so you can see oh my god look at that guys that is even pretty i'm trying to get her to blow up here but cricket is there we go i unlock the proportions here I 
And look at that, guys. That is so pretty. But I am about to sublimate her in these very vibrant colors. And guess what? I don't even have to use my vinyl. I can keep my vinyl and save it for another project. Instead of um, cutting this out on my vinyl, I can just sub her using these colors. And the output is going to be even more amazing because you get those vibrant colors when you are sublimating. All right. So if you have any questions about this process, feel free to reach out and let me know. If you are currently following me on Facebook and my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, thank you guys so much for following me on Facebook. If you would like to join my group, you can send me a Facebook group request to Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, and we'd love to have you. And if you're currently subscribed to my YouTube channel, I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me via YouTube. And even though you're subscribed, guys, when you see something that I've a uh, tutorial that I've created and you really like it or learn something from it, then please continue to like and share those so that we as creators know that we're headed in the right direction with the type of tutorials that we're putting out there for you and that they're helpful. And then if you're not currently subscribed to my YouTube channel and you would like to join, just go ahead and subscribe and also please like and share as well. And you guys know my story is each one reach one so that each one can teach one. And you guys have a great day.